thought for sure she delivered some really important messages. You know, the best teams I've ever played on are the ones that we may not have all gotten along. We may not have all agreed on um, politics or social norms or civil liberties. But sure as hell, we, we all agreed upon one thing, and that was respect. You can't build a, a successful team if, if you're your teammates don't respect you or, or you don't respect the players around you. Some of the things that she talked about was control the controllables. Um, I love the fact that she talked about uh, Gino or Emma's uh, speech about body language. And I think body language is the easiest, most controllable thing that every person on planet Earth can actually do. If your shoulders are, are slagging or like your head's down, I'm like, oh, this is awesome if I'm against you. I'm crushing her all day, I'm going after her. Right? So like, I mean, just like from like a realistic perspective, make sure that you keep your body language in check. A lot of what she talked about was way beyond soccer and it had a lot more to do with life. I'm here because even though I played soccer at the highest level, even though I was named the best player in the world, even though I have the record for most goals for any man or woman, I'm here to tell you that I'm a human being first. I can't just be a good person. I have to earn that right every day. And I think like realizing that makes you enjoy the sport even more because you realize that it doesn't define you. So then you're able to perform better. So I think um, just like remembering that each day that like I think her exact words were soccer is part of you, but soccer isn't you. So I thought that was really cool. It really hit home when she said, you know, being the best player in the world, she still has to worry about retirement. Whereas players, men players who would have had her career would be set for life. I found myself, um, I guess it was a year ago, standing on a stage, sitting next to, standing next to Kobe and Peyton Manning, and I was like pretty amazed that I could be considered an equal, right, to Kobe and Peyton. As I started walking off that stage, I was like, we are, we're all walking into very different retirements right now. Kobe, Peyton, think they have to worry about paying their mortgage? No. Do I? Yeah. So I think just making a difference in that area outside of soccer or even in soccer, however you can, um, is what I'm going to try and focus on more um, instead of just soccer like we've been brought up to think. You know, because at some point our careers all come to an end, whether you're a player, coach or what have you. And, um, you know, that's hard for some people who think that's their identity. And um, I thought that was a real positive message. What was neat was watching um, our players and just kind of, they hung on every word that Abby had to say, which I thought was really cool. So the players were locked in today and I thought they really understood the message that was coming.